we got a call from a woman who's the executive producer of News 8 in Rochester and who's apparently a Newswatch alum. She asked us to go cover a multiple building fire in Ovid, which is about a half an hour from here, and that they would use the footage and credit us. They tell the reporters that every time that you go do a story to tweet from the field, and you know, I'm not a reporter, so I thought it would be funny to tweet from the field. Matt McCauley uh, tweets back at me and says, are you going to be taking pictures and video? Matt McCauley is in the CBS affiliation in Syracuse, uh, the anchor of CNY Central. So I get all the way up there and I see you know, maybe 20 fire trucks, it was flashing lights everywhere and I start walking up with the camera um, and I see the buildings that are on fire and they're trying to put them out and there's all these firemen, you know, chaos, uh, uh, caution tape everywhere. So I just picked up the camera and just walked straight towards it. It was, ended up getting uh, across the street filming the fire. When I got back, we had all the video, so we called the people who uh, originally asked for the video, uh, Rochester Channel 8, and they said to send it to them through Dropbox. So we called um, CNY Central because they tweeted at us saying, do you have the footage? And we called them and asked and said, do you want the footage too? So they said, yes, we need the footage. So I ended up watching last night at 11. Um, it played on CBS Syracuse, and it was really cool to see our work. And they credited us and they said this video comes from ICTV Newswatch 16. Um, so it was, it was really cool. Dean Gajewski, ICTV, all these producers are tweeting at us, tweeting at me specifically, and Newswatch 16 saying, this is amazing, you know, congrats on getting network news, congrats on all this stuff. So it, it was bigger than we thought it was. Seeing all these tweets, all this stuff, and knowing that I drove all the way out there and was there like a real reporter and having all these reporters standing there interviewing people and I'm standing with them and I thought that was really cool. I would hope that these stations would continue to reach out for us and begin to rely on us for video from this area because it's great to get our name out there and get our stuff out there and even if we could possibly use video from them in the future that would be really cool too.